about by the time he was two, I finally was like, there's something wrong. He was actually diagnosed in Iowa City at the age of like two and a half, I think, with a PDD. So when he was finally diagnosed, I guess that was kind of a, okay, we know, to, know what it is, now what do we do? We need to move on. That's when we contacted AEA and they just helped us immensely. They pointed us in the right direction and followed us all the way through. I think of all the stuff that he's learned and He's just grown so much. The AA has partnered with me to meet Elias' needs, basically through work experience and transition services. Transition services are those services that are needed for students, especially with disabilities, to make that transition from high school to post-secondary school or to a job. Elias began work experience as a freshman and has and is still continuing in it. He has made great progress from being someone who wouldn't even say hello to his boss at the work site to now saying hello to customers and the boss. Working with Farah is wonderful. It's awesome. I consider her a good friend. I can call her anytime, day or night, weekend. She went around the community and talked to employers to ask them if they'd be willing to have our students. She follows up with them. My um, job title is a work experience coordinator. And what I do is I set up transition services for students in ninth through 12th grade. Um, transition services are those living, learning, and working services. And so part of that is I go in and work with students on setting them up on job sites in the community. I look and address uh, their strengths and their interests of where they might want to work in the future. And then we um, start talking about you know, what might be their barriers to work. I would say it's vital for the students to have this as a part of their education. Um, a lot of times learning, the schools do really well with learning. I mean, that is their expertise and their specialty. A lot of times the living and working gets left aside and if students don't have, students with disabilities don't have that extra support, a lot of times when they graduate, they flounder at, you know, what's expected of them. You know, what is this culture outside of the school setting? Elias is a success story because he has progressed so much in the years that I have known him. He really takes what you say and tries very hard to do what you're asking him to do. Um, Elias has a lot of struggle with communication and, that, and he understands that and he'll know that he knows that that's one of his biggest barriers. And so we worked really hard in the district and on his job site setting to overcome that barrier. Elias first started out um, stocking the shelves and if there was any questions he was to ask me and he was quiet in the beginning and I would talk to him, initiate a conversation to see how he did and he progressed from there. We had this uh, store uh, root beer float uh, giveaway which is it's kind of stressful because you get hit really hard for the first two, three hours and I was kind of concerned and how Elias would do that. There was one time when I remember looking that we needed more root beer, we needed more ice cream, and I was going to go get him, and I turned and looked around the corner, and here he's coming with a cart full of this stuff, and I'm just like, oh, so relieved that you know, he was there. And then I also heard him saying, excuse me, can I help you with customers? That was a big thing for him to initiate that. At first, I only started stocking shelves and 
cleaning up labels, and occasionally taking out the trash once in a while. I try to do whatever I can to help out. You just gotta find something to do, you know, just kind of ask around. Tell us about working with Clara. Oh, she is wonderful. I mean, I was completely lost without her, and wow. Yeah, she's, she's like a second mother to me. I consider her part of my family, you know. She's very close. When I started out, I was pretty anti-social. I wouldn't talk to anybody. I just keep to myself. That's how I was before. It's just so incredible how far he's came and how much farther he will go. Who knows? That's the whole thing. He has everything in front of him.